So you're sitting around asking yourself, hmm, should I make a saltwater aquarium? Well, allow me to give you a couple reasons to why that answer should be yes. So one of the first reasons is the vast community and a ton of people between reef to reef forums and reef central forums that allow users to go on and ask any questions that they may have in regards to reefing. Another fantastic reason will be education for your up and coming reefers. And your last but certainly not least reason is because it's quite simply All right guys, enough of the quirkiness. Let's go ahead and get down to business. So, like I said, in this series, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at some of the easy ways and some of the more complex ways to be able to take care of a reef aquarium. So some of that's starting up with the basics. Now, what we're looking at here is a portable refractometer. You can get these guys pretty much for about $25 all day on Amazon. You can go to your local fish store and get them for the same amount, all the way up to $75. I've seen different brands. No need to go up that high. Let's just keep it basic here, guys, all right? So I got this one off Amazon. Like I said, $25 does the job simply. When you open the box, what you're going to see is going to be an ATC refractometer. It's also going to come with a screwdriver. Instruction booklet is behind the foam. I added an eyedropper in here so I could always have it. And you will have to buy a separate bottle of calibration fluid for this refractometer to make sure that it is properly tuned. After you have it calibrated where you need it to be, then you quite simply take your dropper and place several drops onto the blue area. You want to avoid overfilling this area so as you get accurate results. Once you have that area filled, make sure there's no bubbles in place and then put it up to a window or other source of light to get a proper reading. One of the rules in reefing is to make sure that everything stays as consistent as possible. So that definitely plays a role when it comes to salinity. So you want to keep it, for a reef aquarium anyways, at 1.025 to 1.026 generally. So this will also help you keep other parameters in check that we'll discuss later. Now nothing good happens fast in a reef aquarium, so that's the other thing that you need to know. So what that means is if you have a salinity of say 1.024, but you're going for 1.026, you don't want to adjust it that high that fast. That can cause big issues inside your reef aquarium to not only your inverts, but your fish, all your corals, as well as your beneficial bacteria and your biological filtration. All right guys, so that about wraps it up for this video. So hopefully it's a little bit educational for you. There again, this is for all those out there that are interested in starting up a reef aquarium but just aren't sure how. So there's gonna be a few more of these videos coming out for sure that let you know all the simplicities, uh, some of the complexities, and you know, good basics to make sure that you have a good head start in what you're doing. Now I'm no stranger to mistakes, and you're not gonna be either. That's why we're taking this journey together. So I encourage you to start your own journey, see how it goes, and you can look at my tank and you can tell that it's not perfect, but it's a process and that's how you have to look at it it's all a process it's very fun especially when you get the whole family involved uh, my kid enjoys it my wife now enjoys it so it's very fun very educational and it's something that you can do there again either as complex as you like or as basic as you like so it's all a matter on what you've envisioned it to be and the goals that you set up for yourself all right guys so that's my time so I look forward to doing a whole bunch more of these videos, uh, some basic information, some more complex, all that good stuff. So if you guys have any ideas on some videos that you'd like to see, then you know put the comments right there below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then hit that little bell so whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first ones to know. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Love you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.